I'm Keith Ruff, and today we have a diecast review on Jeff Gordon's 2015 Exalta Final Race um, here at Homestead. So, very awesome diecast I just got in today, 124 scale. Very happy to have. Um, so, yeah, uh, let's go ahead and go over the box. Have Jeff Gordon have his car. On our racing the official diecast in NASCAR 124 scale stock car limited edition adult collectible back we have action race collectibles platinum series authentic racing collectibles um 15 action race collectibles still the choice champions we have hashtag I was there J JG, um, Hendrick Motorsports, his car, um, Lionel Racing, the official diecast of NASCAR, 124 scale, stock car, limited edition, dark collectible. On the back, we have Jack Gordon 24 Exalta Homestead Race Version 2015 SS1 of 4410. Hendrick Motorsports, hashtag Toy Forever, Jeff Gordon, Action Race Collectibles, Still Choice Champions. Um, top, we have a picture of Jeff Gordon, hashtag Toy Forever, and Jeff Gordon's autograph. Make sure you have race version and Hendrick Motorsports. That's weird. It's blurry. Um. And we have a picture of his car and stuff from that race. And we have all that, which we don't need to get to. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this car out of its box. Okay. So the first thing that comes with this car is congratulations on your purchase. It's nothing. Then we have the hero card. So it's a picture of Jeff Gordon. It says the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series. Jeff Gordon, his career stats, driving career races 797, which now it's gone over 800. He's had 93 wins, 325 top fives, 475 top tens, 81 poles, total laps race 2002, wait, 228,652, total laps led 24,929, average start 10.4, average finish 12.5, Races on lead lap finish 581. And then on the back, the final ride of Gordon's legendary career race version. And it says, There are many things, uh, and there are many things that Jeff Gordon will always be remembered for when it comes to his racing legacy. His four NASCAR Sprint Cup Series champions, championships, 93 wins. Rank high on the list, however, none are greatest than the overall back impact he had on the sport. On that November 22nd, 2015, at Lion Homestead Miami Speedway, millions of fans around the globe witnessed Gordon driving the number 24 Exalta Chevrolet SS battle for one last title. Although he didn't win the Ford EcoBoost 400 that day, he finished the respectable sixth. Um, or the championship, he still walked away from the winner. Okay. So let's get to the car. I didn't think about that. I gotta get this stupid thing off. Gosh. That's gonna take me a little bit. So, let me get this off. Okay, so here we have the car out of the box. 
Took me a half an hour to get it out of the box. Um, so, yeah, this car is just a really awesome looking car, isn't it, guys? Really awesome paint scheme. I'm glad to have it. Alright, so let's go ahead and go over the sponsors. So, on the windshield, we have Chevy Gordon. On the front of the car, we have Exalta 24, Chevy, Chevrolet SS. Hundred Motorsports, good year. We have um, Championship Four Mechanics Wear NASCAR Sprint Cup Chase for the Sprint Cup. Uh, Holly FI 3M Corner Light Pole IR Duralist Brakes Flowmaster and Free Scale. Okay, at twenty four. Jeff, Jeff Gordon Signature. Uh, Daryl Gwynn, I don't know what that is, uh, Winter Sticker, Hendrick Motorsports, Exalta, Bosch, Freightliner, Mac Tools, and Siemens, we got Panasonic, and Vaveline, we have Exalta, ARP, 3M, Pepsi, Exalta, and American Ethanol, it's on the back of the car, we have Vaveline, this is congratulations, Jeff, from 12,500 Exalta employees around the world. Chevy SS, point four. Drive to end hunger, ARP or real, real possibilities. Exalta coding systems, 24. Okay, so my DIN number is 2,752 out of 4,110, I think. And this side's the same as the other. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and go over the race markings on the car. Alright, so um, one thing, the car, it's kind of hard for you to see, you can see it now. The wind visor, or the, the like sun visor, came down about halfway through the car, so it's pretty cool they detailed it like that. Alright, and then on the hood. Uh, there's a couple spots here. I don't know what that is. Dirt or something. In the front of the car, it's pretty visible to see. It's very dirty. Um. Yeah. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Um. So the yellow splitter has dirt all over it. And it's pretty visible. Yeah, you can see the dirt all over it. Especially like on the red. Um, so there's a couple pieces of tape there, too. That's something to look at. And on the left front tire, it says L24. Hmm, some dirt on the 24. Some dirt on the side. Back here, it says L24 again. Um... A little bit of something right there. On the back of the car, you see a bunch of dirt on the uh, yellow splitter. As well as down here. On the top of the car, a little bit of something. Dirt. On this side, we have some uh, rubber buildup around the side of the car. And then we have some burnt marks from the exhaust. And then we have some dirt and weird things on the side 24. And yeah. So we have some, and we also have some or built up around the tire here. Alright. Um what about what else is there to go over? Um oh yeah. I'll show you the back of the car. Fuel cell in there. You can see it. Um, roof flaps do deploy. And let's see if I can get that hood open. Take it off camera.
I can get it, guys. Right, um, I'll go ahead and go over the paint scheme. Uh, we have some flame marks. Got the car. It's a gray car. We have some black in the back. Pretty cool, awesome looking car. Glad to have it. Uh, definitely going to be picking up Jeff Gordon's um, Martinsville win. It's a final victory. I'll have to get that sometime this year. Um, but I'm looking probably about a little bit from a little bit from about about a month from now. I'm gonna be picking up um either Chase Elliott's dual win, which pre-order that, or if Elliott wins any of these races coming up, I'll order that. Or if like Blaney or a new winner wins, I might get that. All right, guys. So that's gonna do it. Thank you for watching, and please like and subscribe for even more.